This is a graphical demonstration of Coherence's push replication implementation. What you'll see on the screen is an auction site for New York and an auction site for London. These both represent individual clusters that are synchronized via push replication. We also have a controller called the auctioneer that is responsible for starting an auction, placing elements into the cache, and timing the auction. This actually demonstrates both active-passive as well as active-active uh, push replication. The auctioneer passively is replicating information from one site to the other, telling, telling them when an auction is closed. And the bidders, which we will see in a minute, are each actively bidding on the same items between the two sites. So if we start the bidding in New York, what you'll see is that uh, cartoon characters have started bidding on elements and they're being uh, replicated over to the London site. At the moment, there's no London bidders, so you don't see any bids coming in for any items from London. If, however, we were to start the bidding on the London side and give them a little bit more uh, of an advantage, what we'll see is now both London and New York are bidding, but the London bids are winning more or less against the New York bids because there's more London bidders bidding at a higher frequency. If we take a moment and we balance it out further, uh, what you'll see from a concurrency point of view is that there's a relatively reasonable balance from one side to the other. Now, the thing to keep in mind with this demonstration that is that these uh, bidding sites are acting individually from one another. That is, that the bids in New York are being asynchronously replicated to London, and the bids in London are being asynchronously replicated to New York. What this means is that we need some way to keep things coherent. The way we do that is through conflict resolution. Uh, for an auction, conflict resolution is very straightforward. The highest bid always wins. So, um, independent of what's going on in New York and London, both sides will, will end up resolving a conflict with the highest bidder always winning. What you'll notice as the uh, demonstration comes to a close is that the cluster will, uh, both clusters will arrive at an eventually consistent state. By that I mean that both clusters will end up with the same results. You'll see that the bidders in New York and the bidders in London, those who've had the highest bids, regardless of whether they're from New York or London, will be the ones that have won the auction. Now that the auctioneer has concluded the auction, what we'll see is, as I explained, both London and New York have the same results. So using push replication, it's possible to arrive at an eventually consistent state while still allowing for highly concurrent updates to each site.